Hey guys, I want to talk about freedom, and I mean ultimate freedom, from porn addiction and, and masturbation. The two always go together, seems like it. What you need to do in order to get rid of this addiction, and, and it is an addiction, you, you know, it's got all the same attributes that that other you know chemical addictions have you know the desire for it withdrawal um, you know feeling euphoric while you're doing it and a crash eventual crash but also just an all encompassing thought that you need this thing and life is miserable without it you know in reality life is great without it there's actual freedom now how do you actually get rid of the addiction first of all you need to figure out why you're doing it why are you looking at porn and then you know while looking at porn why are you masturbating what are you not getting in your real life that you're getting in this fantasy world. I'll tell you a little bit about me. Now, when I was a kid, I got into porn just out of sheer curiosity. I think that's why most of us boys get into it. We just are curious about sex. We're curious about women. We're curious about naked bodies. But the longer you get into porn, you definitely develop a sort of um, taste for it. And you know what you like, and you know what you don't like, and you know what turns you on and what doesn't turn you on. You also begin to develop um, a certain immunity to it. Not so much um, that, it, that it doesn't bother you, that, that it doesn't really shock you anymore. And then at that point, you just get on a quest to, to find something that will actually sort of take you back to that moment when you were a kid and you either, you know, opened your first Playboy magazine and it was all new and exciting. And that's unfortunately the reason why, tragically, a lot of men get into illegal forms of porn because, you know, they're just numb to it all. But again, I go back to the point, why, you know, are you looking at it? What, you know, why? And the conclusion that I've come to is that there's something missing within you. Is something dark and hidden. And like I'm standing right now, something that stays in the shadows and it's a hurt and it's a pain and it's one a lot of times that we can't admit to anyone else even to ourselves for I know me that when I used to look at porn I would either search out men that looked in a certain way that I wanted to be or I looked for men that looked and acted in a way that I wanted to be with them. And it revealed something that I was lacking inside of me, something I missed, something I just missed. They had something that I thought I lacked, and they also had something that I wish I could receive from them. And in porn, it's so sick because it's just all unreality. There's nothing real. And eventually what happens is you have to seek out what is, what is material. And you look for those sorts of men in your real life. And, you know, that's what I did. And uh, sometimes you find them, but it's different in real life because there's pain and it's real, you know, it's real. There's real emotions involved. 
Um, so in order to stop watching porn and stop masturbating, you have to get down to that, that core of yourself, something in here that, that you're looking for in that image, you know, in that movie, in that video, whatever, that you, that you don't have here that's hurt. And once you do that, you know, the desire is gone. But it's, it's not easy. It's taken me well over a decade to figure out, just to figure out wh how I was hurt, why I was hurt, and then to figure out that I was searching for those, for those things that I missed out on in porn. And the thing about porn is, is it's not going to, it actually just makes it worse. It's not going to help you because you sort of live out that fantasy and then it's still there and you're left alone and you just feel, you just feel duped and stupid and, and soiled. And it's just sad, but it's weird because eventually you sort of forget, you know, how tricked you felt when you got into porn and you afterwards you felt empty, but then you go back to it again. It's kind of just like the bottle. You know, because it's not perfect, you figure, but at least it's something. You know, it's it's a relief from the pain for however long, you know, 15 minutes, whatever. Um, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't help and it doesn't, it doesn't fix the problem. Realization of why you're looking at porn is just the first step. The other steps all involve healing the hurt. Once you do that, and I, and I know it's not easy, it's, it's much easier said than done, you'll discover that porn is just not that attractive anymore because you're not getting anything f from it. You're not getting what you used to get from it. It's not masking and covering over the pain because the pain won't be there anymore. So it's, I know it sounds sort of simple, but it's, it's just true. And again, once again, um, you just have to realize what it is that hurt you. And um, that's, that's, the, that's actually the the biggest hill to climb is is just that one because it's not easy especially for men it's not easy to admit that we've been hurt because you know we want to be strong and we don't want to be perceived as weak and saying that we've been hurt and then it hurt us and that it hurt us deeply sounds weak but actually it's not it's it's humility and humility just, I think, is such an underappreciated virtue because it's part of it is just admitting that, you know, it's just, ad it's just admitting that we're powerless. And um, once you do that, the kind of the burdens off you and it'll just it'll just get easier it'll it'll get easier and um, just set just start out and set some realistic goals um, just just say hey um, most guys look at porn in the evening it's just a fact um, tonight I'm not gonna look on the computer or I'm gonna put the handheld device I'm going to put it in the drawer somewhere, and I'm not touching it. That's your first goal. Try it the second night, uh, the third night, the fourth night, and just keep going. And the longer you get away from porn, the the grip that it has on you is, is gonna is gonna is gonna um, 
the grip is going to become less strong. And it's, you just, it's, it's, again, it's, it's easier said than done, but you just have to start with the first step. And the first step is one day, is just one day and one eat, one, one porn free day <laughs> and one porn free night and then a porn free week and a porn free two weeks and a porn free month. And you'll be amazed and you'll have a porn free year. And you just and you just won't want it anymore. One last thing, um, because you're removing porn from your life, you have to put something there in its place. What are you going to put there? <laughs> now the problem a lot of people do the get off drugs and things is a lot of times they'll replace it with an, another addiction. A lot of times it's tobacco. Um, not, it's not with everybody, but it's certain people. So with porn. We're not going to do that. You know what we're going to put in porn's place, and this sounds corny, but we're going to put God in porn's place. And God is just going to, he again, he's going to go into that dark place in our heart and heal it. And God is going to become the physician that he wants to be in our lives, and he will heal us. And don't forget, part and parcel of this healing process is just in a sense kind of letting yourself off the hook. Not, not condoning your, what you're doing, you know, not saying, well, it's okay, I'm human, you know, I can fail. But just admitting to yourself that it's tough and you've been hurt, you sort of tried to heal yourself Porn was kind of the way you thought you could do it. It hasn't worked. It's failed. And now you're stuck in it. You're trying to get out of it. But you just have to keep working and you can't give up. And you can't despair. Because once you despair, um, the devil's got you. And then you really can't quit. So just just hold hold tight to your faith that you will beat this and you will and that wound that you experienced and I know a lot of us did when we were boys something you know just just let it go just let that hurt boy go and um, you'll be amazed but you won't want to look at porn anymore because it's it's not going to, that the pain that you were trying to heal with, with porn will be gone. And then, and then you can just sort of step out, you know, into the light, just like this. And in the light, you know, all that, all that stuff will just, it'll just vanish. Because it, you know, it won't be in the dark and it won't be in the shadows anymore where it was before it won't it won't be in the dark and it won't be in the shadows anymore and you won't be ashamed any you won't be ashamed any longer because porn especially with the internet is such a shameful thing it's something we do a lot of times in the middle of the night in a dark room in front of a screen and it's one of the reasons we so feel so awful afterwards because it's 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 just so shrouded in, in, um, in ugliness. And once, once it's brought into the light, you'll be healed. Okay? God bless y'all, and I love you.